Hello, um, my name's Cathy Greethurst. Um, I'm a staff development consultant at Oxford Brookes University um, and I'm here today to talk to you about my experiences of induction. Um, I've actually done um, 13 online courses. Um, 11 of them have been short courses um, and I'm now on my second master's uh, degree online. Um, so I guess you could say I'm a bit of a serial online student. Um, my courses have been with Lancaster University, the Open University, Exeter University and the University of Wales Trinity St David. So uh, for me induction starts with enrolment and I just want to tell you about my first experience. Um, I enrolled for um, an online course at the University of Lancaster in November 2006. Um, I was terrified. Um, some of my family members had laughed at me because I said I wanted to be a writer and so when I phoned up to enrol I expected the lady on the other end of the phone to laugh at me and say oh no not you um, when she didn't and she was kind and welcoming I paid my cash and um, enrolled straight away um, and, be and so began an exciting journey as a writer or a student of writing um, the course then proceeded with the tutor posting a very welcoming note um, and that really set the tone for the course um, and I carried on from there. In subsequent um, online writing courses at Lancaster at University um, we did icebreakers um, and they were a great way to get started. Um, two that particularly st uh, stick in my mind. Um, on one course the tutor created a grid and um, we assumed that it was a quilt and each of us students had to write um, on, on the, we had to take a square and um, make the square ours. So we had to decide what colour it was, what the texture of the material was, and what the pattern was on the material so that it reflected us. Um, on another course, uh, the tutor asked us to write a, uh, a blurb for a book that we'd written uh, that we were publishing in five years time so thinking into the future what would we say about our book uh, we also had to write a short review about the book um, and I remember writing my review from the teacher's point of view um, and saying that it was the best book that she'd ever read in all of the courses that I've done we went quickly into the activity so we got involved in the content um, and that was really a great way to start uh, in my MA at Lancaster University, um, which was in creative writing, um, we were divided into small groups so that we could get to know each other uh, quickly and work together um, rather than just being in one big group. Um, and that was really helpful because it felt like you made friends quickly. Um, my current MA is at the University of Wales Trinity St David. Um, we're using WebEx and so the tutors started with um, a technology session to show us how to use WebEx. Um, they talked us through all of the buttons that were uh, on WebEx, how it would work, did a demonstration of what the lecture would be like um, and they were incredibly patient with the students who weren't very technology aware so making sure we were all properly prepared in advance before we st started the course with the technology. Um, the other thing that's really positive about Trinity St David is really the tone of the course and how the students, uh, sorry, how the tutors view it. Um, the tutors all believe that we're going to be really successful um, and that makes me believe that I'm going to be really successful um, and it's one of the most positive learning experiences out of all of my online courses. Um, they're also dreadfully enthusiastic about their subject and so that also um, permeates the group and the course. We have um, Facebook as well. We use two Facebook sites. Uh, one is um, an official site, which we call the unofficial site because it's not actually us being at the university. Um, and that's really for chat and we post interesting things around the course material. And then we also have a student site, which we call the cafe, where we go in and chat um, and just mention anything that we feel like mentioning, just as you'd go and have a cup of coffee um, with your friends. Uh, if you're on a campus course. Um, I've also dipped my toe in three MOOCs um, and the one that I've enjoyed the most was called, is called ModPo, run by the University of Pennsylvania through Coursera. 
um, and the interesting thing there is about the setup of the course. Um, the professor and a group of students who are there with him on campus uh, sit round an oval table and they occupy two thirds of the table. And then the cameraman um, sits opposite the professor. So that creates the impression when I'm watching um, a video of me being with them around the table. So that's a very neat trick for helping get your students feel as though they're part of the group. So for me, it's just really doing what you can to make sure that the students feel welcomed and getting them engaged quickly in the course content. Um, those of you who've got experience uh, running face-to-face -face courses will know the importance of taking the time and trouble to do that. Um, and so really it's just trying to replicate it, I think, in an online course so that the students feel as though they're part of the team. So I hope you found this useful. I wish you good luck um, with your online tutoring um, and I hope you have fun. Bye bye.